Welcome back everyone. Happy Wednesday. Happy first day of June. But while it is the start of a new month and that's exciting, it's not exciting that it is now the start of hurricane season. But to bring it back closer to home, here's a look at your sky cam. Clear skies so far, still a little warm out there already. But again, just going to be pretty nice weather for today. Now let's go ahead and get to the headlines. Now a little more cloud cover will be moving in. We do have a chance for showers and thunderstorms for today, although rain chances are minimal and we'll have a light breeze. But before I get into those details, here's a quick look at a viewer photo. This was sent in yesterday afternoon by Millie White Coleman. So thank you, Millie, for this great photo and all the other great photos that you sent to me. And this was taken in Ruleville. So now let's go ahead and get to the forecast. Around the country is 50 in Salt Lake City, 60 in Portland, Oregon, 69 in St. Louis, 71 in Columbus, Georgia, and 72 in Cincinnati. Around the Delta is 75 in Greenville and Greenwood, 77 in Clarksdale, 73 in Batesville, and 74 in Pine Bluff. And winds have picked up a little bit more around the Delta. They were at 5 miles per hour in Cleveland and Clarksdale, 3 in Greenville, 6 in Monticello, and 5 in Pine Bluff. So winds today won't be blowing as high as yesterday. It was pretty, it was a little breezy yesterday. It was more breezy on Monday, but today winds will just remain around the 5 to 10 mile per hour range. And again, showers and thunderstorms mainly for the afternoon hours, although rain chances are still a little low for today and the high will be near 92. So overnight lows will be near 72. We'll have partly cloudy skies overnight. We'll have showers overnight as well, but the rain chances are still a little bit low overnight and we're mainly expecting the rain closer to the daybreak hours and then winds will become light overnight. Now for your Thursday, Rain chances increase. We have that cold front that's going to be moving in and will be a little bit cooler. Our high is only expected to remain in the upper 80s and winds will be from the west southwest around 10 to 15 miles per hour. But then winds will shift to become northwesterly behind the cold front. So it's going to be more cold air moving in and wind gusts could possibly get up to 20 miles per hour. So the Mississippi River is at 37 feet and is expected to stay around that level for the next day or two. By Saturday, it'll be at 37 and a half feet, closer to 38 feet on Sunday, and then on Monday, it should be right at 38 feet. So, so far, the story is still the same. We still have that marginal risk for severe weather covering the Delta for Thursday and Thursday night. Really, most of Mississippi is under that marginal risk for severe weather. But again, we'll keep you up to date if that changes. But for now, some cloud cover in the sky, a little more will move in later today. We'll have showers starting to pop up later this afternoon. And then we we'll, could have a little break in the rain late tonight, but then again, more showers should move in overnight and early into tomorrow morning with that cold front and just ahead of the cold front. And then after the cold front moves out the way, we should have drier conditions, some cloud cover still lingering over us, and then clouds should clear out a little more so as we get into the overnight hours into Friday morning. So overall, just expecting tomorrow to be our day with our highest rain chances, then drying out some as we head into the weekend, and then a little more rain could return for Sunday. We're looking at 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms for that day, and we should be back in the 90s for the high on Sunday, and then Monday and Tuesday should be sunny, dry, and hot with highs in the low to mid 90s. Thanks for tuning in, and have a wonderful Wednesday.